What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. This is the beginner's guide to the Cricut debut. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks for this phone to help you get more comfortable with it. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna remind you to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing I wanna show you with this phone is how to change the wallpaper. There are two ways to do this. The first one is to go to the settings, go to display, and hit wallpaper. Here, you're gonna be able to choose between your gallery, Google Photos, or wallpapers that are already on the phone. Now that was easy enough, but I'm gonna show you another way that's faster and more convenient, and also allows you to change more of your home screen settings. So you're gonna to wanna to press and hold a finger on the home screen like this, and this is gonna come up. Here, you're not only gonna be able to change your wallpaper, but also your home settings in general. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to customize your notifications. Notifications can be really important, but they can also get real annoying if you have a bunch of different apps that are all sending you things you don't need to see. So I'm gonna show you how you can filter out the ones you don't want so you only get the important ones. So to do this, we're gonna to go to settings, Go to apps and notifications, go to notifications, and this is going to show all the notifications you've recently gotten. Tap on see all from last seven days. And as you can see here, these are all the notifications this phone has gotten in the last seven days. If you see any that you don't want to consistently get notifications from, you can toggle them off. Another cool notification setting is the bubbles. Bubbles are really cool because this basically allows you to pop out your conversations. So say you're having a conversation with Facebook Messenger or the texting app, whatever it is, you can use the bubbles so you can continue to have those conversations without going back and forth between your messaging app and whatever else you're doing. You also have the option to hide sensitive notifications and customize what shows up in the status bar. Now, one other thing that goes hand in hand with notifications is sounds. Just like notifications, sounds can be great, but sometimes when they're going off too often, they can get annoying as well. So to get to the sound menu, we're gonna go to settings, go to sounds, and here you're gonna have several different volumes to control. First is the media volume, and that is basically if you're listening to music, watching a video, that sort of thing, that's what this is gonna control. There's also the call volume, and this is basically when you're talking on the phone, this is gonna be the volume that comes out of the earpiece. For notification volume and ring volume, this is actually kind of interesting because in most phones, these are one and the same, but with this phone, we do get separate ones. So for notifications, that's gonna be notifications from apps and stuff like that. And the ring volume is gonna be your ringtone and text messages. Alarm volume, pretty self-explanatory. Vibrate, if your phone is not in vibrate mode, you can turn on vibrate so it vibrates while playing the ringtone, so that's pretty cool. And if you ever wanna turn on do not disturb, you can do it here as well. Now you don't really need to go to settings to turn on do not disturb. You can also open your quick menu and turn it on right here. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to take a screenshot. This is a really easy thing to do, but if you're new to Android or smartphones in general, it might be a little tricky. So all you gotta do is press and hold the power key and the volume down key at the same time, and the screen is gonna flash. And right here, we got the screenshot. You can edit it, share it, whatever you wanna do. And if you miss this little banner, it's gonna go right to your photos. Be sure not to press the wrong button because the power key and the volume up key doesn't do anything. In addition to that, remember you actually have to press and hold. Don't just press the buttons because that's not actually gonna do anything either. So one more time, power key, volume down key, press and hold, screen's gonna flash, and there's your screenshot. Now we're gonna see how you can manage and view your storage. This phone has 32 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion, and since that's not really a whole lot of storage, it is important to keep tabs on what exactly you're putting on your phone. To do this, we're gonna go to our settings and go to storage right here. As you can see, this not only shows exactly how much space you're using, but also the percentage as well. If you scroll down, you're gonna see exactly what's taking up your space. So as you can see here, most of the space taken up is being taken up by the system, so there's not really a whole lot that's been added to the phone. If you're ever in a situation where your phone is starting to get real full and you don't know why, you can always hit manage storage, and this is gonna take you to a separate screen that's gonna help you clear out some of the junk files that your phone can accumulate. 
The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to change your screen lock. Now, unfortunately for security, this phone doesn't have too many options. There's no fingerprint scanner or face unlock, but we do still have some things we can change. So we're gonna go to settings, go to security, and go to screen lock. Enter your current pin, and now you can choose between pattern, pin, password, or none. You can technically do swipe, but that's basically the same thing as none. Like I said before, there's no fingerprint scanner or face unlock, but if you want something that's a little bit more convenient than typing in a pin, you might want to try the pattern because in my experience, although it doesn't provide as high security as a pin or a password, it's still better than nothing and it's a little bit more convenient than typing in a pin. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to change the font size. Now this phone in general has a much smaller display than the average modern smartphone and because of this, if you're trying to read things on the screen, it might be a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to show you how to make the font size a little bigger so things are easier to read. So what you're going to want to do is go to settings, go to display, go to advanced, and font size is right here. Here, you can increase the font size so it's easier to read things on the screen. You can also change the display size for the same kind of reason and it's going to have a similar benefit. This is going to make this small screen a little bit more bearable for people who would prefer a larger phone. So we're back in the display menu and you're just going to hit display size right here. And now you can change the display size from the default to much larger and that way things in general are gonna be easier to see. I always thought it was kind of a bummer that this phone is so small because with a small display like this, it's not the easiest to see everything on the screen, but luckily we do have those two options to make things a little bit more comfortable. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you is dark theme. The dark theme is a pretty common feature that's pretty cool. Basically what it does is exactly what it sounds like. It turns the light colors in your theme to dark colors. People like to use it at night and some people just have it on all the time. So let's take a look at how we can get it. You're gonna go to settings, go to display, and toggle on dark theme right here. This is what dark theme looks like. As you can see, all the light colors were replaced with dark colors. It looks kind of cool. The other thing you can do is schedule it to turn on at night. So to do that, you're gonna hit the dark theme button one more time, go to schedule, and now you can either turn it on from sunset to sunrise or have it turn on at a custom time. But that was my beginner's guide to the Cricut debut. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found this information useful as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about the phone, be sure to check out my full review of it as well. But that's it for this video. As always, I will see you in the next one.